Hey everyone, this is HostExaminer.com and this is going to be a overview of the Fat Cow Web Hosting Control Panel tutorial of their control panel. This is kind of like a part two. If you haven't seen part one of Fat Cow Web Hosting, the introduction, link is right here. So let's go ahead and get started, assuming you already have your account as I showed in part one. So we're going to go ahead and log in into Fat Cow Web Hosting. And here's what the control panel looks like. It's fully loaded with lots of features. Most you will never use. Uh, most you might not even need, but they provide everything here so you have the option. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to go too in-depth on everything, just a quick little overview. Um, some things are complicated, some are not important. So .ht access editor, you're probably not going to be needing this. This is like a file directory that controls um, how your website is accessed. You can block IP addresses. Um, decide what error pages look like, redirect them, stuff like that. Accept Safe is a credit card system to accept credit cards on your site if you're doing a shopping um, e commerce site, so it'll be secure and safe. Uh, I'm going to skip this stuff. This is just like files, uh, CGI, and scripted language support. This is mostly stuff you probably won't need, but you can like check error logs. Um, have information sent to your email addresses, some PHP scripting. Disk usage just shows you how much disk usage you've ha uh, used, even though it's unlimited. You can at least see how much you have used so far. FTP, not going to go into that. That's really complicated. Um, if you're not familiar with it at all, it's fire, uh, file transfer protocol. You basically can use like a third-party program like FileZilla that allows you to upload uh, files onto your server from your computer. Um, without having to log into your Fat Cow control panel. It's basically a lot faster, a lot easier to manage if you have big files. It's also great for downloading, exporting files. Um, I will have a separate video on that, which will be right here if you want to uh, go ahead and see that. You can click the link. File Manager basically shows you all the files of your server, your whole hosting account, WordPress, whatever type of sites you have will be in here, so you can completely control it all from there if you want to delete stuff or manually edit it. Google services, just stuff like um, for search engine, AdSense, some traffic control stuff that helps you with your rankings on Google. Here's server information, but most of that is right here on the right on this list. Shop site smarter, again, that's like a accept safe. It uh, allows you to create a shopping um, site. So you can set up an online store if you want. Site Enhancer allows you to add like meta tags, which is good for search engines. You can make a survey for your site. Uh, two basic things there. Um, visitor statistics, you can see how many people have been visiting your site, and you can have them emailed to you weekly, monthly, or never. Um, if you want the stats to be tracked, you're going to have to, I think, choose daily. Right now I have it on never and save. Website creator, this is a, a way to build a website. I personally recommend WordPress, which I will have a separate video. We'll get to that in a second. But this is a way you can set up a template for your website to get started really easily. Uh, another website builder here, we, uh, Weebly Drag and Drop Builder. It's really easier. Um, you just obviously drag and drop. It's not as complicated as um, other forms. So then there's WordPress, another one. This is the one I'd recommend. You can uh, upload any WordPress themes. I'm going to have an entire video on WordPress. So if you want to know how to install WordPress and set up your website using a WordPress theme, which is what I'd recommend, just go ahead, just go ahead and click that link there on the video. WordPress themes by Template Monster. This is some themes you can use. It's basically shopping for themes. There's lots of free ones, but these ones cost money. Um, but there's plenty of good, decent free ones. Another site builder here, except this is actually a mobile site builder. So it, it does cost money. So again, like I said, a lot of these things you probably won't use, but it's $2.99 a month and it converts your site into like a mobile version so people can see it on their iPhone and iPad, which is good because more and more people use mobile devices. And then here's all the email stuff, setting up an email, and I'm going to have an entire video on how to set up your own email addresses, so you can click that uh, link there if you want to see that. This is just going to be an overview, as I said, but you would click Mail Central, then you can also access it with webmail, set up autoresponders here, spam filter, newsletter management. Let's go down to Domain, Domain Central, let's click this. Shows you my current domain, uh, outdoorsteveblogs.com. That was the free domain I got with Fat Cow. This Fat Cow hosting comes with a free domain. Um, and it expires uh, one year from now, January 14th. And I can renew it. I could add privacy, which I'd recommend, but it's up to you. Um, so let's go back. You can register a new domain. You can transfer a domain. And uh, if you want to know how to transfer a domain with Fat Cow, I have a video on that too. You can click the link. 
Cashy Commerce, another e-commerce like tool that you pay for and turn your site into a shopping website. Constant Contact is a email newsletter uh, subscription uh, uh, company. You collect uh, you know email addresses and you're sending out newsletters. Uh, this costs to it's a separate company. Um, Constant Contact email subscription basically. Uh, Facebook credit. You get a free toll free number. Um, but there is a they, there says no monthly fees, but you get a limit of 100 months per minute, and then I think after um, that you'd have to pay per minute. So even though it's not monthly, it do, it's not necessarily completely free. Google AdWords, Google Webmaster Tools, same stuff as up uh, here. Google Services for website down here. Account renewal. Let's see, Billing Central. We can click this, and it shows the amount I just paid for my uh, hosting plan recently. Then you can change your account info here, um, account renewal. Uh, let's go ahead and click this. So you can set it up to auto renew your hosting account. It will just charge your credit card, or as long as your billing information is accurate, or do not renew my hosting. Um, you can choose that. And so that's about it for the basic overview. Um, all the server basic information is here on the right the website IP, uh, your name, servers. Stuff will be important if you want to use an FTP program to access, as I said, file transfer protocol. There will be a video on that. You'll need some of this information here to do that, the port it uses. And up here is just uh, some of the shortcuts to the stuff in the control panel. Same stuff, just shortcuts. And that's about it. If you want other tutorials on FatCow, they'll be at the end of this video. You can go ahead and click any of them, check them out, and feel free to ask us any questions on our contact form on hostexaminer.com.